Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. Yay. We survived another week. We're still here. Um, just want to share with you how we celebrate, we celebrate life and death. <laughs> um, so Saturday, uh, Ian came up with this brilliant idea to celebrate Kids Day. And he created this new tradition and we're all for it. And so we did that Saturday. And part of Kids Day was to go to the dentist. <laughs> um, so luckily, no cavities. Yay! Thank you, doTERRA toothpaste. Um, because believe me, we had cavities out the wazoo. And then I switched over to that toothpaste because it was adding up some dineros. And we haven't had any cavities since. So if you're struggling with cavities and your kids, switch your toothpaste. Okay. Um, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, so they went to the dentist and our, we love the kid's dentist. He's from, his family originates from Japan. And so when he asked the kids, what are you doing today? They're like, we're celebrating kids day. He's like, oh, there's like a tradition in Japan that they do the same thing. So they celebrate kids day on May 5th. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Just, you know, uh, they get to pick whatever they want to do for the day. Um, there's little gifts, little pocket gifts, kind of like Easter and candy and all that fun stuff. And it's just a celebration for the kids so they can, um, you know, escape reality for a little bit. Speaking of, um, and so they did that and that was super fun. It was great for me because I had nothing to do with that. I just stayed home and took care of myself because I was feeling under the weather. Um, my immune system was really, uh, low. So, um, I busted out my oils. I was Walter White this weekend, totally playing chemistry set there. Um, I put together, cause I was being proactive with my healthcare. Um, I put together what they call a flume, uh, blend. Uh, actually technically should be flute. <laughs> Cause we no longer call Melaleuca Melaleuca, it's tea tree, at least on the bottle. So what it is, is, um, I took a veggie capsule and I opened it up and I added one drop of frankincense cause it's the king of oils. It's a oil, it, it magnifies the other oils it, it blends with. So that's there, um, for a reason. Then there's a lemon, which is, um, uplifting, uh, oil. Then there's oregano, which um, has uh, chemical constituents that um, support our cells um, and uh, support our immune system. So I, you know, because that's a stronger oil. And then what else? Oregano. And then on guard. Of course, on guard. You got to have on guard. And uh, tea tree or melaleuca. Um, but I thought maybe I need something a little stronger or additional support with my immune system. So I busted out my iToby right here, this little guy. You just turn it on, hold it, and there's an app, you listen to it. And the way it works, kind of like your um, your Fitbit, has this technology in it and it just kind of scans your body. And I only picked, you can customize your report, you know, can you have um, just oils in your report, um, three, five, seven, you know, whatever amount you want. Um, or you can have products or both. So I was just, in, you know, let me just see the oils. Um, even though Sunday I did do products too, but Saturday I just did the oils and it also recommended celery seed and thyme for my immune system because I checked my immune system and it had a list of oils. So I added that as well. And then I put breathe on my chest, on the back as well, because your lungs are back there too. And I felt relief pretty much right away. And um, I just kept doing that every three to four hours. Cause if you look on your traditional Benadryl, <laughs> it says every three to four hours you, or four to six hours, you have to keep taking it. And then if it's more than seven days, you have to call your doctor. So it's the same concept, only I'm making my own. I don't have to go to the store and pay, you know, a dollar or two per pill um, when these are just since a drop. So that's what I did. And then, um, you guys, I want to ask you something. I'm not a very religious person. I grew up Catholic, but I don't really practice it. But um, I do pay attention and think to myself, what would Jesus do? Um, but I would ask for you to please pray for the Ingram family um, today uh, because we lost a really awesome person, um, Jason. Uh, I don't have a whole ton of memories of him. Um, but he did have a big heart. He was always inviting, um, my family, uh, to his family gatherings and they were fun. They were epic. 
um, especially the Easter, because he went all out with the food and, and the Easter egg hunt was a blast. And um, I do want to share um, my first meeting with Jason because it is kind of funny, at least for me, for me it is, and how I remember it. Um, I, re I knew of Jason back in 2001, but we never met. Our ships kept passing, <laughs> never docked at the same time. So uh, I knew what he looked like and, you know, that he existed because, you know, my aunt talked about him. I met, you know, David, her husband. Well, I knew him years before, but never really got to know his kids until I came out here in 2001 and then never got to meet him. And then I came back again in 2002, you know, hung out with friends in LA and then my aunt in the desert. And um, he happened to be in town and he showed up one morning. Thank God I was already showered and dressed. And uh, he just walked into the room, just full of energy, just really like, whoa, hey, Carrie, how's it going? You know, hug and kiss and just carrying on. And I just thought, wow, this guy's got a lot of energy for this early in the morning. Of course, I was still on, you know, well, no, by the time I was like three or four days in. So I was still a little tired from my um, L.A. excursions. So, um yeah, so he, we introduced ourselves, I said hi, small talk, and then I remember when he turned his back to us, <laughs> my Aunt Carrie turns around and goes, he likes you, and I was just like, oh my god, okay. I don't know what his relationship status was at the time, but um, I was just like, oh no, that's okay. <laughs> um, but I, what she meant by that was he was like really over the top, um, uh, really, uh, I don't know, she knew him long enough that she could pick up him when he liked someone and when he didn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I liked you too, Jason. Um, and thank you Ingram family for always inviting us, um, to your gatherings. And, um, if you guys could say a prayer for us, that would be, uh, I would totally appreciate that and keep us in our thoughts. Um, we, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was Wednesday. He's fine. Thursday's in a home, a coma and, and then he's gone on Saturday. So, very bizarre. I don't have any details, but if you guys could, um, pray for that family. Um, and it just, it, too many people are dying in their forties. I can't take it anymore. To be honest with you, it, it's, it's really, it's, whew, I just want to throttle some people. Um, please start taking care of yourself. Um, we don't have much, uh, we're not guaranteed every day. So, whew. all right. So, I'll be um, dealing with that emotion this week as well as the final week of school. Can't wait. I just hope we can get through this very quickly and just start enjoying um, time off together with my family and, and next week and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, my heart's heavy today and, and especially for the Ingram family. Ugh, it just sucks. 2020 could just fucking end already. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. And uh, don't worry, I have my oils. I will be oiling up and um, getting through the week. Whatever you guys need to do, do what you got to do to get through the week. And um, if you need additional support, I'm here for you. I'll throw an oil at you. <laughs> Help you out. Whew, if you tried everything else and you're desperate, I'm here for you. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to share. So celebrate um, the good and the bad, because that's life, yin and the yang. All right, I'll see you next week. Have an amazing rest of your week. Be kind, wear your mask, social distancing. If you don't feel well, just stay home. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I gotta share. Okay, be well, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye.